Kylie Watson, the transfer out of Oregon. And then for Cal, Aveline Lucha Schipholt out of the Netherlands. Both teams 1-0. Game number two of the regular season is underway. It starts in the half court where Notre Dame head coach Neil Ivey says, we kind of want to get in transition, so let's see what they do on this first possession. Westfeld from the outside. Maddie Westfeld, the junior out of Ohio. And right away, you see Miles' ability to get a piece of the paint and kicking it out to Westveld, who in this lineup is the four player. That is your power forward stepping out to hit the three. On the floor for the Irish, Kylie Watson makes the decision quickly to go to the rack. Nice ball fake by Watson. Notre Dame will run a lot of the Princeton offense in the half court, but Neil Ivey has also become a big fan of pounding it in the post. Got Watson as the five to start this basketball game. Curry from the outside. Also for the Irish, though, on the bench, Lauren Ebo, a, a transfer from Texas who also has the ability to pound it in the paint. Great screening action there by Cal to get Curry open. That will be one of the keys defensively for Notre Dame because Cal will run some actions to get Curry separation. See the communication on defense from the Bears. Cal backing down into a 2-3 zone. They have major concerns about the size inside of Notre Dame. So they're going to pack it in. Four seconds left on the shot clock for the Irish. Quick release off the glass. for what? Miles sees some space behind the line. Rebound by Westveld. Second chance opportunity rattles in. Talking Maddie up with seven points early. She has to head to the bench with two quick fouls. Scoop shot, Jada Curry will have to take their shot at slowing down Curry. It's going to be a team affair. Michelle Onya, pump fake. And also fouls a concern now for both coaches early in this game because Onya is a very big part of what Sharma Smith wants to do this afternoon with the inside attack. Mia Mastro guarding Olivia Miles on this possession. Miles skip pass to Mabry. You see Notre Dame taking their time on the offensive end. And you have to do that against the zone. You need to get ball reversal, get the ball to the high post, get it to the short corner. What? Trying to find out how she wanted to pick apart that zone. Yeah, Kylie Watson, the transfer from Oregon, bringing some experience, some versatility to South Bend. Another transfer. Olivia Miles takes it out for the Irish. Three-point basketball game. Just over the midway mark here in the first quarter. Miles finds Mabry. She needs no space to put it up. Mabry Curry trying to create space. Mabry doing a very nice job containing Curry off initial screening action. Driving kick. Curry gets it back in the corner. High arcing. You notice Mabry will bring it up for the Irish. So will Miles. Stop, pop, score. I'm with you, Zora. <laughs> this analytics thing, you know, right? That's enough. Up. Notre Dame in transition. Citron pays it off. You saw there the pedigree with her and her sisters all having played for Notre Dame. So there's a legacy always on the line if you're a Mabry sister. And she plays with that kind of sense of urgency. Curry has it going from the... One of the things that Cal head coach Sharman Smith charged her group with was play how you know how to play. Let's show people why women's basketball is so great. Dump down pass. And Notre Dame got stuck. And it only takes Curry a second to get the shot off. But you see how it's the continuous movement. She's not getting the first look out of their action. She's having to work for it. Jada Curry, three for three from the three-point line. Watson, her teammate says Watson identifies it and scores. Watson 100% from the field in the early part of this basketball game. Curry goes outside, now she goes inside. And because Miles was a late, was excuse me, an early enrollee in college, so she wasn't eligible. They may have had co-rookie of the year in the ACC. She shines in the lights of the brightest. 
Turnover Cal. Here's Miles, and that's Westbell behind the three-point line. One thing that stands out when you talk about Miles' game is just the legacy of great point guards at Notre Dame. E.L. Ivy was one of them. Skyler Dickens Smith. Beautiful move. Body on that defender. She could have caught that pass. She's got to make contact. Notre Dame for sure has the size advantage with Watson and Ebo in at the same time. Miles behind the back scoops it off the glass. No surprise, though, that all roads led back to Notre Dame for her. Mabry conducting the offense for the Irish. Gets it down to Watson. Your freshman year. The speed and the strength. How quickly the game moves. Seven title games in the final four. Flanked by Gail Ivey for those championships, for those Final Four appearances. Also, Carol Owens, who has been at Notre Dame 23 years, associate head coach. There's been a lot of consistency on that bench. Well, it says something, too, that Notre Dame allows you to go be great. Carol Owens, right, going and, and having a stint as a head coach. Michaela Mabry, assistant coach for the Irish, doing the same thing. Starting somewhere as an assistant coach and then getting the opportunity back where it all started for her. Notre Dame starting to figure out is what both of these coaches asked from their players. We heard our city sounds of the game before tip-off. There's Curry off the handoff. Miscommunication defensively, so Cal passes around the horn. 43-34, nine-point basketball game. Marshall's drop things on the basketball court. And that's why you have to be ready when your number is called. Because you never know. Games could bring anything. Curry down to Bush, so now. Same starters as the beginning of the game for Notre Dame. Mabry, Citron, Westfeld, Watson, and Miles. Let's see if Notre Dame can pick apart the zone in a different way. Mabry, step back. That's smooth. Nice job of creating space by Mabry. Tell me too much, I may say, hey. <laughs> <laughs> but the Mabry sisters are really close. I will say that they are very supportive of each other. They watch each other's games. They're always posting on social media. It's really beautiful to see what that family has developed in terms of the legacy. Player to coach relationship. And Dara told me, sometimes it still doesn't feel real having my sister on the sidelines until she yells at me like I'm her sister. She is like my backbone, though. She gets me through everything. I could go to her house. Coach is talking about how this game is so much about the players, but I love the line in our chat with Cal head coach Charmin Smith saying, yeah, my mom and dad are probably just going to want to hug everybody <laughs> this weekend. Watson. You could start a whole Jersey squad with just the ones you name. And even if we do Northeast, Citron. Five blocks by the Irish this afternoon. And we've seen them. That's Peanut Tutelli. And she wanted their defense to be organized chaos, a lot of activity. And we've seen a better job of that here in recent possessions. Skylar Diggins-Smith has watched a lot of film on how those players use their bodies, their footwork. So she is constantly trying to improve her game. To tell it, less than five on the shot clock. Miles has to pull. Got to have that rebound. Natalia Moss. And the LIV goes to the bench because of that foul trouble, has to put in Marshall, and she comes up with a big one there. If you're Cal, you work that hard defensively, you got to get the rebound and go the other way. Miles guarding Curry. Curry gets behind her. Wraparound pass to Tutele. You look up, it's an eight-point basketball game. 1.30 to go here in the third. Miles. She works incredibly hard on her game. She can put it up. Averaged over 18 points per game in the NCAA tournament last season for the Irish. Had 13 three-pointers. 
in the tournament. It was really a spark plug on their run. Fourth quarter now underway from St. Louis. Homecoming for both of the head coaches. It gives them some physicality, some athleticism, just a really strong presence down low. Langarita. Like Bush, you find a way. Rebounding out of position. So now Cal gets another opportunity to score. Lead at six for Notre Dame. Curry calling for the screen. She goes off of it. Long three. Oh, that's good. McIntosh finds her. Does she size it up again? This one's high arcing. And Tutele has done an outstanding job in this second half. Not only making open shots. More distribution. Because the defense is definitely going to be keying in on Curry at all times. That's what they go to on the inbound. Curry dishes it down to Lucha Schipholt. Defense of the utmost importance for Cal. Maybe add on rebounding to that too. Marshall elevates. Ebo back in the game as well. Gets the offensive rebound. But once again, Jaden Bush keeping things alive for the Bears. Impactful plays. Curry, scoop shot. One thing Sharman Smith has asked of her group today is to compete. And they've done just that. Had Notre Dame on its heels in the fourth quarter. Continuing to play pesky defense that time. Cross court bounce pass attempt by Miles is intercepted by Leilani McIntosh. Bodies on the ground. Mastrove knocks it down. Curry in go mode. Slow to get up again. Curry limps the other way. Meantime, Citron. For Notre Dame, they have gotten more offensive contributions from different places. There's been a lot on the shoulders of Jada Curry to carry the offense for Cal. Leilani Mitchell in the preseason poll. Five ACC teams in the top 25 poll to start this young season. And that doesn't even bring up the fact that Notre Dame has UConn and Maryland in non-conference play. Three ball for Cal. That's Ornella Mutsa out of Athens, Greece. And this one will finish our final score, 90 to 79. Coming up next here on NBC is your local news.